We got a coordinator here, Tammy. Yes. Tammy, we're here to talk about coordinator life, how you got started as a CRC, and what life is currently like for you as a coordinator. But there's so many people watching that want to be in your role. Mm -hmm. And you were talking with me a little bit at lunch about how hard it was for you to get started. Mm -hmm. Can you kind of give us a background of how you got started, how you found research, that kind of stuff? Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Temi. I'm a CRC and I work with City of Hope. Yeah, so my journey into clinical research started like four years ago. I was working as a nurse care technician, like what people call CNA. CNA? Yeah, so I started as a CNA and I worked as a CNA for almost three years. I got enrolled into the nursing program. I started and then I knew quite all right that nursing wasn't really what I wanted because before I came into the United States, I already had my bachelor's and I had my master's degree. And from Nigeria, right? Yes. Yeah. So I was like, nothing really wasn't what I wanted, but I had to start from somewhere. So I started as a CNA. And then just one day, one of my friends that we went to college together in Nigeria, who is also into clinical research, spoke to me and said, oh, don't you like clinical research? I was like, I do. She said, okay, have you heard about it? I said, no, I haven't. And then she said, you can try to find out about it. I was like, okay. <laughs> and so I went, I started like digging and, uh, you know, you reading. Curious. I got curious and I was like, this is what I actually wanted. So, and then I started making contacts, calling people, how to get trained. I got a place. Who got in first, you or your sister? So, um, she got in before me. Ah, uh, she got yeah. in first. Yeah. So I, I got the opportunity to train and then that was how my journey started. Okay. So I went into a clinical research site as an intern and then the rest is history. <laughs> and life as a CRC now. Mm -hmm. How long have you been a CRC? So this will be like my fourth year. Fourth year? Yeah. Same place? No. Oh, okay. So this will be like my third place. What's been um, the differences between the sites? That you work okay, with. so my initial site, I think um, it was basically women health, and um, I think I left there early because of the distance, and then I found another opportunity uh, where I work as a CNA, and then you know I was promoted into the clinical research department, and that was how my journey into oncology study started, and okay. then, yeah, and one thing is I love oncology. Um, one of the reasons why I joined clinical research was I could connect. I had family members who had cancer back home and you know the part that they had no opportunity to have options of treatment and then I lost my uncle and then so what, it was like when I got into oncology I was like this is where I want to be so I started the oncology research. Yeah very challenging but rewarding for me because most times I get the opportunity you know to just keep telling the patient uh, you know our participants that you know everything will be all right and then you know the opportunity you give to them to spend at least additional time with their family members is really rewarding for me so since then I've been working in oncology trials. Okay, so OBGYN first, women's health, and then oncology. Yeah, so I left my uh, previous employer and uh, my current employer. So the good part is I was doing oncology, but it was basically more of solid tumor. And now my current role, I do immunotherapy, so I do cell okay. therapy, so which is oh, really interesting. There's a lot of stuff going on. In yeah, there. which is really interesting. Even some for of me. the biotechs I follow on uh, the stocks are mm -hmm. doing immunotherapy. Yeah. It's one of the one in the CRA Academy, we have the internship with the um, it's an immunotherapy oh. drug that we're doing. Um, pretty soon we'll have something new, so stay tuned, guys. But mm -hmm. life as a CRC, what can you say about it? Like the good, the bad. You know, this is a it is a stressful industry. Mm -hmm. It's a rewarding industry, but it's stressful. Yeah. And what do you think about that so far, like from what you've seen? So like um, Leslie said this morning during the signature series, you really have to understand the why. One thing I tell people, because I have a lot of people that come to me and said, oh, yeah, because I'm an advocate of clinical research. <laughs> I tell a lot of people and then I usually actually tell them why do you want to be in clinical research? Because I see it more than just a job, it's more like a ministry for me. So even though it's sometimes stressful, sometimes I feel like, oh, I'm tired, I'm so stressed, you know, the part, the rewarding part of it, it's what keeps me going. 
and then it's what gives me joy because I know at least I'm helping someone. But I'm the trying. stress is real, right? Like the stress is real. Name I some must of the say. things that um, because people watching may not mm. understand. Like, ah, oh, I wish I could be a coordinator. It's so it seems like such a mm. nice job. Like. Mm -hmm. What do you say about this? Because they don't see the bad, like the, the hard stuff. They only see like the good stuff. Yeah. Same with CRA. Yeah. They just think you travel all the time. And yeah. So stay as in hotels. A, <laughs> Your sister I, says I yes. You get miles. <laughs> you get <sleeping> <laughs> I know as a CRC, it's really a lot of work, you know, trying to get a patient eligible, your subject, trying to make sure that you're putting all your source documents together, going through the medical records, understanding the charts. Sometimes, especially I've met people who say, when you hear oncology, they're just going to run and they'll be like, I don't want to do this. So the point is, you know, as a CRC, most times when you try to do all these things together, sometimes you're tired, mm -hmm. sometimes trying to connect. I work as a remote <coughs> CRC, it's stressful for me sometimes because I try to reach out to my PI, I try to reach out to my research nurses, and sometimes I'm still, I'm still there for like two, three hours. I want to report SAE. Oh my God, I dread SAE a lot. <laughs> now seeing your sister being a CRA, Mm -hmm. Would you want to be a Siri? So, everybody has, <laughs> like, <laughs> everybody has, one thing I tell people, when you, when you start the journey in clinical research, you will be able to discover your niche. So, I do not want to be a CRA, I want to be a clinical scientist. And so that's the path I have been trying. Clinical scientist? Yeah. And this is the place where we're going to make some introductions. Thank you, and I will appreciate yeah. that. So I want to be a clinical yeah. scientist. And so for me, I have been able to discover that part that I think I want to do more than just monitoring. I want to be part of the process. What do you think uh, technology does for your job? Okay, so like it's... What tools do you use? I know we're in Viva Booth, yeah. but you can mm -hmm. say whatever tech you no, So the great part, like I, I was in Miami last week for investigators meeting and they were kind of curious. I was like, because I told them I'm a remote CRC. And a lot of people ask me, you're a clinical research coordinator. How come you're completely remote? And that's the power of technology. So we use Florence. We, Florence. Yeah, so Florence is really helping us a lot. And I think today I met a team. Yeah, you know, it's also part of the team we'll be working with because my company is trying to expand. And so it's part of the... Um, um, Part of the software we'll be using to help with our work and just to make sure that we can get the job done. So I don't have to, it, you know, it's amazing that so I don't... So clinical scientist. Yeah. No CRA. No CRA. And then sis. Like the sis, I don't come like on that route. Come on in. <laughs> are they, are they ronky? Listen, <laughs> what is life like as a CRA? It's rewarding, but also challenging. Is it like flying first class and sleeping at luxury hotels? <laughs> First of all, I want to say thank you, a very big thank you, because you're a great inspiration. Thank you. Clinical research, I didn't know more about it. I was a nurse for a very, very long time, but after watching your podcast, reading your books, I had an idea, and it's been good. What but was your first job the, in the industry? The first job is with PPD as a CRA. Straight away? Yeah, I did the clinician to CRA. Wow, okay. Yeah. Ah, the RN to CRA role. Yes, okay, that's what I did, and um, I've been there a year and a half. It's good. I love the job. I wish to grow in the industry. There are other areas that I would like to like go into. I just want to use the CRA as like a stepping stone. Yeah. Eventually, there's a lot you can do in this industry. I've been researching and reading about it, but as a CRA, it's interesting was very stressful. Have you been giving your sister tips about, hey, this is what you need to do to be a better CRC, or she knows what she's she doing? She knows what she's doing. She <laughs> knows better than I do. I go back to her to ask questions. She's oncology, but I can never be oncology. So what advice both of you guys do you have for people out there that are watching that would love to be, I mean, they would love to be, they listen to you and say, okay, yeah, it, it, it's stressful. Okay, Tammy, it sounds stressful. I wish I could be in that stress. What do you say to them that they want to start? They can do it. The sky is the limit. First of all, you need a good mentor. You need to know what you're doing. You, you're, you're LinkedIn. Yeah, I'm LinkedIn. You need 
love to know what you're doing. You need a very good support system. You need a mentor. I still have a mentor I run to every time. Will you be their mentor? <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out, but the minute I know what I'm doing, I'll be glad to mentor people. Okay, yeah. and Especially, you? Especially, you know, in this area, I'm sorry to say it, but people of color, we have a lot of challenges. So if I'm able to help anyone... Talk about that a little bit as we wrap up. Both of you guys, I think the industry made a lot of improvements recently. There's a huge initiative, DEI, but we do need to do a lot better job getting minorities to work in research not just, and participate. What do you guys think about this? Um, it's very important because to reach out to the people out there, a lot of people of color don't even know what clinical research is all about. So you're recruiting patients they don't even know, and sometimes they need people that look like them in order to be able to tell them how to approach certain things, how to, you, in order to be able to convince them to come into trials. So I think we need more diversity. And Tammy, Tammy, what do you think about this? Yeah, I think um, trying to get into clinical research, it's, I know it's not easy, but it's doable, like she said, and it's something that you have to be passionate about. I keep telling people, just be passionate about, go for it, ask questions, network, don't be afraid to reach out to anybody and ask questions. Most of the times that I've gotten into my different jobs as me because I was able to reach out to someone and they were able to help me. Yes, for people of color, it might be a little bit of challenge, but the point is, once you know what you're doing, I don't think your color matters anymore. And we need more mentors too. That's why we're in yeah. LICR. Ade, last question, all right? Technology, do you have any like tools that you think are good, others you don't think are so good, like either for a CRA or for sites that you've seen from your experiences? Um, I've worked with a couple. I've worked with Creo. Uh, you like? I like Creo. I don't, I've not worked with so many of them, but Creo, I think it's good for E-Reg. What are your therapeutic areas that you work on? Um, vaccine, um, respiratory, um, asthma, and um, I did, what else did I do? Can you give me an asthma study? Yeah, I did an asthma study. <laughs> but, um, you think you could get me one? Like, if I ask nicely? <laughs> I hope I can, but okay. I'll be networking. That's why I'm here. But uh, that's really cool. So you like your your therapeutic area is really like all over the place. Yes. Perfect. Look, look, guys. You need to go connect with both of these people. Sisters in the space. It's a family affair. There's a family site owner too, mother and daughter. Yeah. This is awesome. I interviewed a twin brother and sister earlier oh, from a wow, tech company. That's great. So here's sisters here. This is amazing. Both of their LinkedIn. You guys both have a LinkedIn, right? Yes. Okay. Both their LinkedIn is underneath this video. Thank you so much, Tammy and Ade. Thank really appreciate you. it. Bye-bye. Go connect with them.